you're in control. Like, like you want positive people? Go gather them. You throw the party. You like some party that doesn't exist anymore? Great. Go and fucking throw your own party. We're in fucking control out here. You're in fucking control out here. Over the last three years, I did. Basically, I learned my skills. I got some degrees because I wanted to work for a big brand. And after that, I got an internship with one of the biggest brands in the world. And I got the opportunity to work for them, which was amazing. And I basically said, well, I want to break the door in, right? I have the foot into the door now. So I want to go in and I worked my ass off to get there. And there were a lot of opportunities opening up to the end of my internship. But right around that time, Corona broke loose. So the opportunities vanished. And now I'm living in my parents' basement, basically, yep. again, with 24, which is fine. So I said, let me lean into my personal brand because I'm like, I'm into fitness. Uh, I've been training for like eight years, a little bit over that. And I'm also a coach. So I said, well, I'm going to develop my brand a little bit and push that on Instagram and wherever because I'm just in it. But I catch myself looking back because I don't want to miss out on the corporate world as well because I love that as well. I met so many amazing people. So it's like, Good how news. can I the, combine gonna, that? Easily. Like, you know, as soon as we get to some sort of normalcy and, and corporations are hiring again, which they will, you can apply for a job or another internship and be right back there. Like this is, this is a moment in time and the beauty for you is you're so young, you have your entire life in front of you. Um, and then yeah. if you want to do the fitness stuff in your personal brand, you can do that after hours and on weekends. And then you're, and, and the other thing is you may change your mind in three years or six years. You yeah, know, true. The, the biggest issue that I see out there is that we don't put changing your mind on a pedestal. I believe that changing my mind is my greatest strength as an operator. The ability to change your mind is powerful. Most people fear changing their mind because they're worried about what people will judge them for when just a year ago they said, I'm gonna be a fitness coach and then nine months later they're selling pizzas and everyone's like, oh, you're full of shit. And, and it's not about being full of shit, it's you fucking changed your mind. Yeah, true. I, I think laziness and changing your mind are two things that are completely misunderstood. I think most people think that changing your mind is a show of weakness and you don't know what you're doing. I think it's the reverse. People obviously very much look down on laziness. Believe it or not, for somebody who's like hard work, hard work, I I actually see laziness as an insight to that you're not passionate about that thing and you just need to do another thing. Yeah. Helps so much. Maybe so, maybe so what, what what I'm saying is I apologize. Yeah. What I'm saying there is you can do the corporate thing and then four years later be like, wait a minute, actually I loved being a health you know, professional, and then you can do that and you'll still fucking be under 30. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel stuck right now because it was always going so fast and I was ready to kill it, you know, because I'm brother, also like, go, brother, go, go. There, there was people that were ready to have the greatest life of all time that got hit by a car and died. There are people yeah. who just built a monster business in the 1940s in Europe and then a war broke out. There are people yeah. like there are people who are ready to kill it and actually died from COVID. Yeah, facts. Like, yeah, man. the fuck are you complaining about? No, like no one gives a shit. You know shit what I mean? I, I get that. Yeah, it's like don't be sad, be happy. Yeah, man. Look, anybody who's watching right now, if you did not have a loved one die from Corona, you need to be happy. I don't give a fuck about your job. I don't give a fuck about, you know, the missed thing. I don't give a fuck about that you missed your favorite concert or your sporting event. Like, like we need to put shit in perspective. Yeah, true. So true. You're, you're winning. You, the fact that you have a, a parent's home to go to is is better than a lot of people. Yeah, thanks. You just need to switch it. It's kind of like an on-off switch. Instead of spending your time thinking about like, Oh God, I'm so unlucky. Just when I was finally there, I, I, out of in a hundred years, this pandemic, my friend, do you understand that if this pandemic started three months earlier, Kobe Bryant would be alive? It's a shame. You know what I mean? If this pandemic start, happened a year ago at the same time, my great friend and the great, unbelievable young artist, Nipsey Hussle would be alive. Like, like bro, 
Don't be sad. Yeah. Like, like honestly, I'm kind of happy. I'm glad that you got punched in the stomach because it's gonna make you more resilient in the future. It's gonna make you more thoughtful when you make decisions in the future because you, you've now lived through shit can happen. Yeah. Yeah, so true. You know, yeah, so I just need to just change your mind. Keep it up. Yeah, just like um, not only keep it up, realize this is an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm I'm trying to learn every day, bro. Like I'm trying Good. to make it work i'm just trying to be the best self every day and just but i i get what you mean yeah don't maybe go ahead maybe one more thing that maybe relates to it a little when i was working there like there were a lot of positive people and i drew energy from that mm -hmm. because I, I love to work surrounded by positive people because i'm positive as well it's just a uncertain time but now that i'm back here i'm missing like the influence influence of positive people so so put positivity in your ear I do, man. That's why I'm talking more, to you. Man. I appreciate it, bro. So more, so more. Yeah. Why don't you Why don't you contact everybody in your phone and send them a Google Hangout link and get on? You know what? Every day at six o'clock for two hours and just shoot positivity. Take yeah. the initiative. Fuck dwelling. Fucking go all in. You take yeah, control. Man. You take control. You create positivity. Why don't you text? all the fucking people that you found positive and say, hey man, hey hey gal, do you wanna go on Zoom tonight? Let's get 20 of our friends together. Think of, yeah. literally go through your phone from A to fucking Z and find every positive person you know and send them a link and say, I'll see you at 8 p.m. tonight. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a great idea. Well, good, that's what I'm here for. Thank right, you yeah. so much, Take Gary. care, brother. Stay well. You too. Listen, just like I told Nino, like you're in control. Like, like you want positive people, go gather them. You throw the party. You liked some party that doesn't exist anymore? Great, go and fucking throw your own party. We're in fucking control out here. You're in fucking control out here.